Hi, welcome to Corning's booth at SID Display Week 2023. What we're showcasing here is our display innovations portfolio. And what that is, is a glimpse of the future. So these are our emerging technologies and applications that we believe will play a, a significant role in the future of human interactions, enhancing face-to-face uh, -face communications, augmenting productivity. So we're excited about all of the technologies in our booth this year, and of course the role that glass plays in each of these. One of them that I'd really like to highlight is our transparent display this year. We worked with JDI on this particular transparent display, and... Um, yep. Transparent. Uh, so there's all kinds of cool applications that can be done and designers, architects can put it in restaurants, in hotels, in stores. Absolutely, yeah. So I'd like to introduce um, Inoue-san from our team uh, who can tell us a little bit more about this particular display. Okay. Hi. Hi. <laughs> yeah, we, this time we are showcasing the customized version of the JDI's transparent LCD. And uh, which, which is meant to simulate, simulate the real world applications at the hotel, restaurants, and the ticket window of railway stations. So this is this is this display is featured by the high transmittance. It is 84 percent, and uh, it is a dual side view display. So it is dual. Side view. dual yes, you can see from the other side. So it is good to use for face-to-face -face communication so it can give the useful information to people at both sides and uh, it doesn't have facial cues. It is very good and uh, this is a very special display so it, it doesn't have backlight but the uh, display glass is used as a light guide plate. Right. Therefore, uh, in order to get the high luminance and the high uniformity, uh, transmittance of glass is really important. They, they chose uh, our eagle to make it better. We are collab collaboration leader. All right. Uh, so, at Corning, you're famous for the glass, right? Yeah. And what more comes on the glass to make this real happen? Yeah. What do you add to the glass? Uh, so for glass, uh, as I said, the transmittance is really important. And uh, based on our research, uh, our Eagle XG shows a good, pa good performance transmittance compared to other display substrate glasses. So it is a key point. And uh, as an innovation company, uh, we are collaborating to develop the uh, this kind of new new uh, future devices, and uh, yeah, it is really important to find the proper application for this kind of technology. So we also collaborate for market development to uh, uh, create the good scenario to use this kind of technologies. So there's two glass substrates. Two glass substrates, two Eagle XG. But uh, when there is text. Uh, it can only be read in one way, no? So it's so, for morphographics and stuff like that? That from both sides, right? Because when yeah. you go on this side, yeah. then the St. Grills is a thrill. Yeah, mirror, mirror images are shown, and uh, it is good to show that. Uh, so this, this is a case of the translation. So uh, if uh, different uh, language people uh, use a different language, uh, then is effective to use for this device. All right, well, another interesting technology that we're featuring this year are glass-based solutions for 5G and 6G. Um, and here I'd like to introduce BG Kang from our Corning Precision Materials uh, location. He's here to talk about some of this interesting Hello. research that we're showcasing at Display Week. Hey. Hi. So uh, what do we see here? Yeah, these are the prototypes of uh, the so-called reconfigurable intelligent surface implemented on the Corning glass. Um, the, the motivation of the development of this uh, RIS is um, based on the limitation of uh, modern 5G millimeter wave communications 
uh, which enables you a ultra fast data communication but at the same time due to its short wavelengths and high frequencies not allowing the, uh, the coverages uh, on, in indoor and outdoor size and inherently it makes the uh, much blind spots or coverage holes in a real life. So our uh, development is for resolving those blind spot coverage hole issues by enabling a better reflections of the millimeter wave signals coming from radio nodes uh, and uh, yes. Is it, is it doing like phased array antenna? The similar to phased array antenna but it's a little bit different with antenna. It doesn't have any uh, feed networks or um, transmission lines uh, here so you only see uh, the specific metal patterns designed in advance uh, on the glass substrate directly or with some uh, liquid crystal layers inside between two uh, glasses. So um, it has a role uh, for the uh, giving you a beam tilt either in a stationary or the variable or the steering uh, uh, angles. So in the future, yes. displays are going to be antennas. All the displays. Um, yeah, good question or good comment. Um, we are envisioning in the future uh, for incorporating this kind of uh, the RIS product um, to integrate or incorporate with the other device such as um, interior walls or even display device to enable the more. Um, more beam coverage is for 5G uh, millimeter wave uh, communication. That, is it thin copper or what is the material? Yeah, yep. Yeah. Uh, uh, is that thin. visible? If there would be a display behind, it would not interfere with the quality of the display experience? Yeah, current first, um, prototypes, uh, you can clearly see the uh, metal uh, pattern, the morphologies of the metal patterns here, but our development direction will be to minimize the visible aperture uh, shown here and uh, make it easy for us to incorporate with other kind of device such as the picture or display device or the uh, wall interior or something like that. Preferably it should be nearly not visible. Pardon uh, me? It should be nearly not visible. That yeah, be yeah that, that, I think that, uh, that should be the direction for us to minimize the aperture, maintaining its the uh, beam tilt capability so that uh, nearly making it the nearly uh, transparent. You say 5G, 6G, visible. is it possible that it works with satellites? Can this be the antenna for the Starlink? Oh yeah, I and think... Can have uh, it in a building? Yep, yep, the good question. The 5, 5G and the 6G um, 6G communication uh, uh, example. is but one example. Yeah, yeah, could be other things. And uh, the companies like Starlink is actively working on giving a the um, mobile communication um, channel through the, what is called the 6G link uh, in the upper mid uh, band in the future. And we want to be um, this kind of the uh, reflector could be one of the solution uh, for um, extending its coverage efficiently in the terrestrial area. So if you have a very big window on the roof, yes. it's perfect because then you have a very big antenna and you get a good signal to the satellite? Um, yeah, actually the, um, the normal window doesn't give you a, a big trans, trans, transmittance of the signal, actually. So um, at the, even though we can say it may give you an opportunity for installing antenna there, the property of a window makes it worse to, for, from outdoor side to indoor side uh, in terms of the trans, transmission uh, perspectives. We had a great display week this year. We're happy to, to see so many employees able to travel and people visiting the show once again. And um, we had some great research presentations this week and new demos. So thank you for visiting our booth this year. 
So here, the display week, there's a bunch of 8K displays, there's 4K 120, and all these new TVs can come with HDMI 2.1, and there's a whole bunch of updates that I'm going to be filming at the Computex 2023 with the HDMI licensing administrator, which are organizing all the display makers, the cable manufacturers, and making sure that they are compatible with each other, there's a stable performance, there's no interference, and um, there's a smooth AK future with 48 gigabit per second support and there's the whole um, infrastructure for for certifying for testing for making sure there's no interference with the with the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and stuff that people have so thanks a lot for watching check out my HDMI playlist in hdmi.charbax.com